Ladies and gentlemen, your first truck coming out here for freestyle competition here at Lincoln County Fairgrounds will be Marvin Anderson in the Identity Theft Monster Truck. Coming from Straight Up Racing, you will normally see this truck touring with Bill Payne, but tonight he is out here to show you guys what he can do in freestyle as Marvin Anderson's about to start his time on his first hit. Choosing that lonesome car out there in the corner of the track for his first hit. His time has started. He's got two minutes on the clock. And now he's going for the freestyle ramp on that SUV stack. Tonight's freestyle competition will feature a lot of heavy hitters out here on the track, so we're going to have to see a lot of momentum and some big air from Marvin Anderson. Going off of that SUV, coming around and going to combo it up off of the racing lane. As he spins that truck around, it looks like he's going to go for the freestyle ramp side of that car. Getting some decent air off of that jump. He's going to swing that truck around here in just a second. Looks like he's going back for that SUV jump one more time. And he's going to combo it up again off of the racing lane. As our first freestyle of the night is winding down on time. He's just about a minute in on his run. Coming around. Looks like he's going to go for the back side of the racing lane. This is going to be the first person to go for it. The first truck out going to go big off of that. Looks like he got a little bit of a cradle shot on the ramp there. He's going to swing it around. He's almost up on his time. He's got about 40 seconds left. Off of the SUV going a little sideways. I'm going to combo it up one more time. He's going to put in another combo off the back side of the SUV stack. Now he's going to turn that truck around. One more time off of the car. Now he's swinging around. It looks like he's going to go for the racing lane. Building up some speed and some nice air off of that racing lane right there. Got about 10 seconds left in his time. It looks like he's going to go for the freestyle ramp on one of his last hits. Some nice air right there. His identity theft time is officially up here for the first freestyle of the night coming to an end. A great way to start things off here tonight, but we still got five trucks to go for freestyle. Our next driver coming out onto the track as we speak, Paul Jensen in Kamikaze. This guy's got a very powerful piece of equipment and he's known to skyrocket that thing into the air. It's going to be interesting to see what he can do. Looks like he's going to start freestyle off with some nice donuts. Swinging that thing in circles. Going to stop before he gets too dizzy in the cab of that truck. Looks like he's eyeballing that SUV right there. Gonna get some decent air and combo it up off the racing lane. Yes, he does. Looks like he's eyeballing that car. Gonna go off the freestyle ramp side and get some nice air. Turning that truck around near the end of the track and it looks like he's going for the SUV one more time. Some nice air off of that. Running out of room and he's gonna roll over the racing lane but go straight into the SUV stack. Now he's eyeballing the back side of the racing lane. We saw Identity Thefts hit this. Let's see what Kamikaze can do. Some nice air. Getting a pretty good sky wheelie there. And he's going for the back side of the SUV. I believe he's the first person to hit that here tonight. Doing something different. He's got the donut. He's got the back side of that SUV jump. Now it looks like he's going for the other side of the car. Getting some huge air off of that jump right there. Now it looks like he's going to be the first person to go for this popper ramp. Going to choose to do a wheelie straight up and down. And almost riding out a wheelie there. Got it a little bit. Going for the other side of the back side of the racing lane. And a hard landing on the left side. Now he's going to go to the front side of the racing lanes. Some nice air off of that jump right there. Getting really up there. Going around to the 
freestyle side. Another hard landing on the left side. I think those sway bars are giving him a hard time as his time is almost up. Kamikaze's time is up. This last hit will count off of that SUV right there. And that will be it for Kamikaze. Anything else he does is just for you fans. As he's going to stance that thing up on top of the singular car. Paul Jensen and Kamikaze coming out here with a great freestyle. What did you think about that? Next up for freestyle will be Tyler Groth in Double Trouble. This guy's known for going big and destroying equipment. Let's see what he's got for you guys here at Freestyle at Lincoln County Fairgrounds. Getting some nice air off of that singular car. As he's going to sling that thing around and go for the SUV jump. Getting some decent air. All these drivers so far have been comboing up off of those racing lanes from the SUV. There's not much room to do anything else right there. Some more nice air. He's just about 30 seconds in on his time and he's already got some really nice air. The backside of the racing lane gonna get some more nice air. A little bit of a sky wheelie as well to top it off. Going for that SUV again. Looks like he's gonna go to the other side of the racing lane. And slinging that thing around. He's going to go for the car. Some nice air off of that car right there. Probably could have gotten a slap wheelie if he got into the throttle, but he chose not to. He's going for the backside of the SUV. He knows what he's got to do to take the lead here, and he's trying his best to do everything he can. Gonna get some nice air off the racing lane. It looked like he was kind of off to the side of it right there. Going for the car again. Gonna try and get some more big air and gonna get a hard landing on the left side of that truck. And a little cattywampus and going in between the racing lanes right there. Eyeball on that SUV again. Just a little under 30 seconds left in his time. What can Tyler Groth do to satisfy you fans and give him the lead here? He's going to go off the front side of that K-rail jump. Almost getting onto two wheels out there in no man's land. As he's coming around getting some more nice air off of that jump. Probably the longest distance we've seen so far off that jump. Slinging it. This is going to be his last jump of the freestyle. Some more nice air off the racing lane. And setting that truck down on all four wheels. Keeping the equipment salvaged. He's going to sling that thing into some celebratory donuts. Getting a nice freestyle in out here at Lincoln County Fairgrounds. Tyler Groth in double trouble. Denver Ectern Camp in the beautiful Venom Monster Truck coming out here sporting those not BKTs. Looks like he's looking to go big for his first jump out here in freestyle, lining up for the backside of the racing lane. This is going to go straight up, a hard landing on the right side of that truck. We're going to have to see if that affects him in this freestyle run. So far it looks like that truck took that hit pretty well as he's going for the SUV jump there. Comboing it up as many others have here tonight. Gonna have to see something a little different from these drivers to get a bigger score. Whether it be big air or something different, we don't know what we're gonna see. We're just gonna have to find out as we get some decent air off that singular car. Looks like he's gonna go for the racing lane. Got a little messed up there on the side of that SUV jump. Kind of lowered his speed down coming in. He's going for the freestyle ramp on the SUV stack. Backside of the racing lane again. Getting a little bit of a slap wheelie off of that. That's the first time we've seen that, but it didn't look like he had too much room to carry it out. He had to drop it back down. Some nice air off of the racing lane. 
Now he's looking at that freestyle ramp one more time. Let's see what he can do. Some nice air for Venom. Looks like he didn't like the angle he got off the backside of the racing lane there. He backs it up and he's going to keep going with his freestyle run with just over 30 seconds left on time. The SUV jump one more time. He hasn't hit the backside of it. He's been going for the front side, just trying to keep the momentum up. As he's going for the backside of that car, getting some nice air off of that. Slinging that truck around. His time is winding down. It looks like he's going to go for the wheelie ramp right here. Hitting it off of that K-rail. Straight up and down. And a nice little bit of a slap wheelie attempt. He had to put it down just before that jump got in the way. And some nice air as his time comes to an end. Denver Ecktronkamp in the Venom Monster Truck. Coming out here with a really good freestyle. But was it enough to take the lead? Making his way onto the track, Eric Swanson in the obsessed monster truck. It looks like he's lining up for that wheelie ramp. And he's going to try for a moonwalk, it looks like, at least trying to get a stoppy here. We're going to see what Eric Swanson can do. Pulling the trigger and up on the front two wheels. Can he get it into the moonwalk? Shoving it in reverse and he's going to get it. Putting that thing back on all fours and he's going to carry on with his run. Just went through about 10 seconds there trying to get that move in. But I think the fans like to see something original out here. We're going to have to see what he can do for the rest of his freestyle. Slinging that thing around. It looks like he's going for the racing lane. Building up momentum and getting some nice air. Almost getting into the side of those cars right there. Could have popped his tires. We all know that those BKTs are a little bit thinner than the traditional tire. But they do give you some good grip going around the turns. He's coming around for the SUV right there. Going to combo it up off the racing lane. And he's going for the car. Getting some nice air and a, kind of a hard landing on the right side. He wasn't too sideways in the air. But got him up onto the left side on two wheels. Getting a little bit in no man's land. Hitting the K-rail and nice air off of that freestyle ramp though. Back side of the racing lanes. He's going to get a nice sky wheelie right there. And a slap wheelie, but he's going to have to put it down before he gets into the SUV too much. Going for the racing lane once again. Some more nice air off of that jump. Got about 30 seconds left in his time. What else can he do? It looks like he's going for the freestyle ramp. A little sideways off of it and almost into the wall protection. Could have gotten an RII there if he hit the wall protection, but he's keeping it off, so he's going to keep this run going. Going for that SUV one more time. Into the racing lane again. 10 seconds left for Eric Swanson in Obsessed. Because he's going for that car. Gonna get some nice air off of that and a hard landing on the left side as that is going to be time for Eric Swans. And he wasn't lined up for a jump, so that is it. Coming out here, putting on a great freestyle. Wasn't enough to take the lead. It's up to you. As our last truck for freestyle comes out onto the track, Dan Runte in Bigfoot. We're going to have to see what he can do for freestyle out here at Lincoln County Fairgrounds. He's going to come up and show that truck off to the fans before he starts his run. He'll have two minutes on the clock to take the lead here in freestyle. Bigfoot wanting to make a good showing out here at Lincoln County Fairgrounds as he's going for the car. Yes, he's going for the car. 
Getting some nice air off of that to start his time. Dan Runte going for a wheelie right here. Gonna stick that thing up, not quite gonna get the slap wheelie. Going for the backside of the racing lanes. Almost got it up into a sky wheelie there as he kind of cradle shots it on the way down. Going for the backside of the SUV, that's what the fans like to see here. We haven't seen that too many times. Coming around for the racing lane with a head of steam. Some pretty decent air. I think we've seen bigger off of it though. He's gonna have to pick up the pace. Going for the freestyle ramp. Some nice air off of that jump. Gonna sling that thing around near the end of the track. Looks like he's going for the racing lane again. Wants to get some bigger air off of it this time. As he's gonna do just that. Some nice air and a hard landing for Bigfoot. Going for that single car. And he didn't line up with it too well. He's on two wheels. And he's going to slam it into the back side of the racing lane there, backing that thing up. Going to go for a jump that he's lined up better for. Bigfoot going to have to do something big here to take the lead. Some nice air off the SUV and going to combo it up. Thought he was just going to roll over that jump as he's going for the SUV stack. And a hard landing on the left side onto the right wheels. Going off of the car stack. I'm looking to combo it up, getting straight up and down and gonna dig that tailgate into those cars. First person to really get a true sky wheelie off of that jump. As he went for the back side of the SUV again, he's turning around. His time is almost up. And he's just gonna sling that thing into some donuts. Dan Runte coming out here, putting on a pretty great freestyle. What did you guys think of that? 